Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Hello, I just finished my retreat out in Gloucester. Gloucester, I cannot pronounce it right. Uh, which is west of London. And it was a 10 day Vipassana retreat, the Goenka Vipassana retreat, dhamma.org. He has all these sites around the world. And funny fact, you can actually get your first Vipassana retreat for free. You're not really pressured to donate unless you're a returning student because they want all the people to try this Vipassana technique, the meditation technique, without the stressors of monetary cost. It was oh, so relaxing, so nice. And I think this one out of all the retreats I've gone to had the strongest technique. I mean, there were teachers, but it was all done on film and you have Goenka, the main guy, just talking into a uh, <laughs> into a camera, and then it's just being projected at you. From what it sounded like, he was this huge business man in India, and he trained in this specific meditation technique. And because he loved it so much, he ended up establishing his teaching and all these centers all around and across. India, Nepal, everywhere around the world now. It's in most of the states too, surprisingly, and in Japan. Really interesting site in general. They, they have no statues of Buddha anywhere. And I thought it was a little weird at first because I'm like, well, isn't this a Buddhist technique? I don't know why there's no um, statue of Buddha anywhere. And then I realized that the thing that Goenka, stresses is that this is a non-sectarian practice and so with that just stripping everything that a sect is associated with including symbolism statues everything and so imagine just like the most simple huge rooms with all these white walls and that's where you just meditated so everything was just as plain and simple as possible and i think because of that the technique was really front and center in the focus you learn about how to sit uh, and how to feel the sensations around your body. And so essentially it is just keeping your body really, really still, not moving and listening to every single sensation that is everywhere in the body. The logic that every body part has a sensory receptor, right? We're covered by skin. We only have specific areas that we are very attuned to, like the tips of our fingers, mouths. But there are parts of us on our body that we are less attuned to because over time we just didn't have to think too much. Other parts of the body that don't necessarily get too much fine, detailed senses, <laughs> like your fingertips. Just sitting there, sitting still, you want to listen to this buzz, this buzzing that's happening all throughout your body. By listening to this very, very subtle sensation, you can then start to take an inventory of your current state. And once you inventory and understand your current state, any change in your body from then on, you can sense it and you can recognize it better. And that technique was really easy to understand and digest for me. This, this meditation retreat had no extra activities. There was no yoga, there was no walking, there was nothing, just eating and sitting. <laughs> and I kind of cheated and I would rest in my room for a little bit here and there. Sorry about it. <laughs> I counted how many total days I've done as a part of my meditation, including the days that I skipped from that Thailand meditation retreat and it totaled to 50 days of meditation over the course of six months, which is, oh, which is a lot. It's almost two months. <laughs> My first reactions on this, I just, I feel so good. I feel so elated. I feel more centered than ever before. And I feel so ready to do what's next in my life and I have such a clear direction. So much more than back in December. <laughs> but with that, hope you're all doing so well. 
Love you all so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.